Hello, my lovely Starflower fam. This is me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Hi, guys. Here I do all sorts of tarot readings, from pick a cards to celebrity readings to channel love messages. I am a psychic intuitive reader and channel the energy of what you as a collective are feeling, or the people I'm reading for, which includes the celebrities I am reading. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my channel, my content. If you'd like to see more, make sure you're subscribed and tap that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. I appreciate all the support so much, fam. If you're interested on your own personal reading, please do check out the listings I have available at my Etsy shop. And if you want to further support my channel, you can also leave me a donation at my Ko-fi page or request a commission reading as well. I also have a Patreon. I have two available tiers, one donation tier and the other is the 1111 tier. You'll get intuitive advice every day and one monthly Zodiac reading as well. All future tiers will be unlocked as my Patreon family grows. I look forward to it, fam. Now, this is yet another very special reading for Army Hammer. Pluto is going to be retrograde for the next five months. Going into the four, since we're already kind of almost halfway through June. Pluto, now, Pluto is the planet of death, transformation, changes, destroying the old to rebuild and make new again, starting fresh. So you can all imagine this is a very overwhelming time for many of us. This reading, I'm going to dive into ARMY's natal chart to see where Pluto retrograde is currently transiting and do a based, a reading based on that, okay? As always first, Disclaimer, my readings are for entertainment purposes only. I am not claiming truth. This is just my intuitive opinion with pretty cards. Now, Pluto is currently transiting Army's eighth house of sex, death, family inheritance, money, and power. Not only that, but this is Pluto's natural house. Army will be purging all aspects of self, which hasn't been serving him. Everything that has been weighing on Army for years. This is the time for all of that to come out. Anything hidden will come to light. The things he didn't know how to deal with or didn't want to deal with. Pluto is saying this is the time your past must be dealt with. Pluto retrograde is leaving very little room for anything to stay hidden anymore. If it is not productive to self-growth, Pluto will make sure to dig up everything. All of it will come to light, in turn releasing army of any chains from his past. This is Pluto at its core, wanting to bring upon the transformation that, indeed, was and still is Army's tarot year card from 2020 until his birthday for this year, August 28th, going into the temperance energy for 2021, which is healing energy. All right, my beautiful fam, let's get to the reading. That was a lot, but I just wanted to go into it and explain a little bit about the Pluto retrograde and how it is affecting currently army's natal chart and him okay all right let's get into this tarot business <laughs> all right let's see i'm gonna shuffle my my tarot deck but yeah there is just so much going on with this pluto retrograde and so many planets on retrograde too so let's not even forget about that but here we're focusing on the pluto retrograde which i feel is just the biggest transformative energy that I've felt uh, for uh, ever really all right let me, what's coming through during this Pluto retrograde here we have we were speaking about money here we have king of pentacles energy okay trying to stay grounded amidst everything going on all right what's coming through for you Army? we have this, I believe, is the Page of Swords, the Princess of Swords, okay? Seeker of Truth, going at this King of Pentacles, all right? We also have here Nine of Pentacles, all right? Being able to have this independent energy about him, not having to rely on anything else, 
And then here we have the page of pentacles as well. So student energy, two student energies here. Let me move this aside here. There we go. I'm going to pull out some more. All right. I have here seven of swords and five of cups. Yes, this Pluto retrograde is definitely bringing up a lot of stuff that was hidden, coming to light, a lot of emotions coming through of loss. Oh, and there we go. Funny enough, if you guys have seen my other army readings, this is the card that came through in, I believe, the last one. So this is actually a very, very positive card to see here, which we have the Fool, which is beginning again, new start, fresh, after this Pluto retrograde or sooner, hopefully, but I still say that there's just so much. And here we have the Strength card as well. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Okay, I love how I'm just like pulling out so many cards. Six of Torches. Again, this is Victory, Six of Wands. This future is looking bright. I am really looking forward to what's coming through here. And we have the world, the universe. Exactly. So, okay, wow. I have a lot to say. I just like keep pulling cards out. All right, fam, let's get into it. Let's get intuitive. Okay, so from as I was pulling out these cards, I need a little pointy stick. Hold on. I really need to get myself. There we go. I'll just use my, my pencil. <laughs> All right, so starting with this King of Pentacles energy fam. So the King of Pentacles, again, every time I see a king, this is standing in their power, uh, stability, being in... A leadership position when it comes to wealth finances of making of materializing something being not expert but being more mature about something of the physical world okay then we have the page of swords which is coming at this king of pentacles like i've got some truth to hit you with man some it's like a reality check I feel and this is what I, I feel that is going on right now where again what I brought up earlier in the in the intro going into the explanation of the Pluto retrograde I truly feel that many of us not just what I'm picking up for army but many of us we hold on so so tightly to these things that we bottle up and we just leave it there like think like, okay we don't have to ever revisit that again that's not true that you that stuff usually comes out through a tower moment <laughs> or let's say this pluto retrograde pluto retrograde don't play pluto is like <laughs> you gotta you gotta own up to the all of this that's coming through and learn from it and grow right so that is what pluto it, it, you know does and then oh gosh if we mix it if we pair pluto up with saturn oh that's painful <laughs> because saturn is all about the be, being a teacher and giving you the hard lessons right i haven't even looked at where saturn is in his natal like what, what where what's transiting and what's going on right now where saturn is because i'm curious but that'll be for another reading fam but i i really truly feel that this is something that was it hit hard right and what is being what i feel that like i'm picking up that what army's feeling right now is like i was uh, i don't know why uh, anyway i pick up that all right i have been shoved out of this position this king of pentacles position out of this out of this situation by this page of swords the page of swords is a message or someone much younger a student okay coming in to this king of pentacles and saying no more but the thing is that i'll pull out some oracle cards to uh get more of that fam this is just the messages that are coming in so with this nine of pentacles, this is actually very positive because despite this page of swords, all this coming at the king of pentacles, I am seeing progress and being able to stand on your own despite everything that's going on, all the chaos. 
uh, in his life right now. Army is going through this transformation, which I've been saying this for uh, over a year now. <laughs> and it's insane. Wow, time flies. Uh, I feel that with this page of pentacles, another student. Now, despite, and I, I, I use this word <laughs> carefully, but being dethroned from this king of pentacles energy. Okay. He is coming. He's rising up again in this page of pentacles and stronger than ever. I am picking up despite this here, because with the seven of swords, we have like a thief in the night. There's a lot of scattered energy, a lot of uh, broken messages right now that are coming in. Now, with this five of cups is this sadness and only focusing. I, I believe I've discussed this and there's something so sad about the five of cups, but there's also this hope because most people only focus on the cups that have been uh, spilt over or and not focusing on the cups that are still standing. Now, what I like about this imagery here with this five of cups, I'm seeing I'm picturing this individual filling up each of these cups with the water of with the water of the ocean or the you know this the water. So I'm I'm seeing like I'm stocking up <laughs> uh, and becoming stronger than ever and it's very interesting cuz then we have the fool. So it's like all right, these cups might be empty, but I'm going to get a refill and I'm just kind of go on this journey right now and keep going. And leave everything else behind. It's like leaving the... Uh, this is so weird. I, I, I see the cups being filled and leaving it for someone else. It's like, okay, here are my cups. I'm going to go now on an adventure at, or a new journey, a new chapter, and start fresh with nothing on my back. That is what I'm seeing with this full energy. Despite everything that happened, this is all the past. And being able to get through this because the seven of swords is a lot of swords is communication words and with thief in the night is like taking away someone's words or someone's intentions and misconstruing it and then there's nothing left but these empty cups that need to be refilled because there are people that care about army that need a refill as well. I am picking this up and it's like army's like, okay, I will refill these cups for you. But for now I got to go. I have this journey. I have to go, th I have to go on and I must, I must see to it, see it to the end. That is what I'm hearing. Okay. And because he goes on this, this is going to be a very successful journey here. This has been very rocky, but you know what fam, there has been like all this, no major arcanas. Remember, major arcanas are like major events in one's life. This has been shaky. And like I say, it's um, it's a lot. But there is still that hope that there is going to be... <laughs> My dog. <laughs> My dog is just like, I will accompany you. I'm going to just stick around down here as you record. Hi, Mom. <laughs> anyway, sorry. And so... <laughs> What I see here with the fool, seeing the light of day again. Wow. And not, I mean, like, look at this, fam. Look at this card. <laughs> the fool is just like, la, la, da, da, da. And there's, and, and this is, um, the fool gonna fall. <laughs> but it's gonna be okay. Like, not thinking about, oh, well, I, I'm planning ahead. Like, no, I'm not gonna fall. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna keep going. And because of that, I feel that it's funny because the dog is like, yo, <laughs> look ahead. <laughs> but I feel that there is so much hope here in progression with the strength card and the six of wands. This is a victory walk. Okay. And then the universe coming into completion again, this cycle that uh, army is going into as the fool is going to be a successful one, especially with the six of wands. So whatever, what he's doing right now and leaving behind and despite having to take certain, uh, um, taking a couple of steps down of a certain position, 
he's going to make his way back up. Because I see that clearly with the Page of Pentacles. I see that very strongly. With this Pluto retrograde, it's just going to be so rocky. And it's going to be for a couple of months, fam. It's going to be uh, four and a half months at this point. Uh, so I feel that with that, it's going to be so transformative, even more transformative than it already is, okay? And with the Strength card, there is this interesting aspect here. The Strength card is passion and taming this beast within. The beast is a part of what has... <laughs> Nanaka's... <laughs> the, the beast within... With these five of cups, I feel anger, I feel sadness, I feel loss, I feel so much associated with everything. I feel like everything has been taken away from me, but you know what? I got to build upon what I know and keep going. That is what I'm picking up. Despite everything that has happened, I feel that he is just getting right back up. It's... And I see that also with the Nine of Pentacles energy because that is an independent energy and having everything needed to continue thriving, uh, enjoying the fruits of thy labor and all that. Because despite these moments, these hiccups, these situations, uh, I don't know why hiccup popped up. J words that just come through my mind or like messages. I thought of hiccups. <laughs> but all this... I feel it's going to take time during this Pluto retrograde there for him. This is his personal journey. Nothing going on outside of him. This, please remember this fam. What I'm reading right now is his energy. I am channeling and this is what's coming through for what he's feeling and what I am seeing beyond of the plans or anything beyond the ego. I'm going into higher self kind of territory. Okay. So what I am seeing here is this completion with the universe card, which is the world. So I really feel that the intention to better himself is there and he is going to be successful and things are just going to make more sense for him. And what was once a journey of ego is going to dissipate because there have been a lot of voices that have been distractions and it's been so hard, but this transformation that he's undergoing was a needed one that despite everything that has happened and Nanako, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Everything that happened from last year to this point, it was building up for this. And to a point he knew what was going to happen. This, I still feel so strongly, and I've said it in prior readings, that he knew to a point of everything that was going to come to light. This page of swords. This was planned. I am hearing this was planned, but it got out of hand. It got to a point where I couldn't tame the situation. I couldn't tame what was going on. It went, it got out of hand. This is what I'm picking up. And then the six of torches here, this, again, this is what I'm seeing for the near future. And this five of cups, I'm going to get some oracle cards now. I'm just seeing so many messages that I wanted to cover each of them before I went to the next, next thing. Um, in case you guys can't see it, let me move it over here because I can't see my camera. But yeah, okay, yeah, I'll leave the six of, of wands here. So I'm going to get, let's see here. I'm going to get... Some trigger cards to see what's going on there. What's triggering army during this Pluto retrograde. But right now, I feel that there's a filter in the energy I'm picking up. There's a filter trying to put on an air of strength, which is funny because I have the strength card there. And he doesn't want to 
be vulnerable. He doesn't want to be putting himself in that position right now. Oh, frick. Huh. What was I just saying? God damn, man. Beliefs. Your beliefs are keeping you stuck. This is ego based and whatever I, he feels tied up, he feels tied up right now because to get to this point, he needs to release whatever is causing him to feel lost. And this is a very tough situation here along with the seven of swords. So what he feels tied up about is the seven of swords. Okay. Let me move that. I, he feels tied up. It's like, what, what's coming in right now? What do I believe in anymore? What can I do? So what's helping him? <laughs> Excuse me. What's helping him? Hiccup. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I just had a little synchronicity of, like, I just had to ch ch bleh, chuckle. I can't speak. <laughs> no, but seriously, fam, um, what's helping right now? is to be focused on something because if he lets loose, Oh my goodness, fam. It's okay. It's coming here. It's okay. Let me get this here. If he lets, he doesn't want to lose control. If he unties and forgets about what he's believing in right now, he feels he's going to lose control. He does not want to lose control right now. This is coming in strongly with the strength card and the beliefs card. But in order to reach this point, to get to the fool, he needs to cut those ropes. He needs to cut them. He needs to set himself free. And that is, oh, frick. That is what the Pluto retrograde is trying to get him to do. He needs to set himself free. I will get some more cards in reference to that and see. <coughs> he oof, okay he needs to set himself free this is what's going to be able to complete the cycle of the five of cups let me get another trigger card intentions ask their intent and set clear ones for yourself and that is that is what he's trying to do have an, have, he wants to set clear goals and intentions to stay focused. But Pluto doesn't want that. Pluto is like, <laughs> no, man, you got to let loose. You got to let loose. But that is a very scary thing right now with everything going on in his life because he doesn't know what that entails. And he's terrified. He is terrified of that. And he needs to stay in control. I keep hearing that I need to stay in control. I can't let loose. Not now. Not, not ever. And that has been all his life. There is something that he has been bound by his beliefs, by something all his life. This has been army tied up. Damn. Okay. Ooh, I need a moment. <laughs> mm. All right. That's it. He needs to... The loss, the emotional loss is what's keeping him tied up. His link and connections to the people he cares about. Even, even when I said earlier that, even when I said earlier, when I said, <laughs> sorry fam, I'm like having a moment here. Um, I need to replenish these cups, these empty cups. I need to leave them filled. I can't leave them empty. And then I can go off on my journey. Wow. Okay. Um let's get some or more oracle cards. Um I'm going to get Zodiac 108 cards. <clears throat> Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> this is an emotional reading, fam. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm crying. Okay. Um, I have here Pearl. Emotional force opening up. Honesty. Perception, loyalty, the moon. Intuition. Developing character. D d diving deep. Uh, diving deep. Layers. Hidden things. This, this is beautiful. And I'm going to just say, this is what's inside. I, I feel that this is Army's potential. Army's true, truest self. I, I know it sounds so cheesy. It's, um, but I'm seeing that he needs to open, that's, <laughs> he needs to open up and show the world this pearl this pearl because he has been bound by beliefs of society or whatever he has been conditioned to believe he hasn't really shown many it's to the like, you know it's been very it's rare for anyone to see the true army this pearl and that is terrifying to him. This five of cups. In this five of cups, hear me out, fam. I see him holding on to this emotion. I need to fill these cups for everyone that I care about. But he's not thinking about himself. He's not thinking about himself. This is him thinking about himself, the fool card, the reset, the brand new journey. I will pull another card out for that. Sorry, this is such a roller coaster of a reading. I knew that it was going to be. I was kind of, <laughs> I held off for a bit, fam, because <laughs> I knew it was going to be intense. Um, all right, let's get another one for the fool. All right. We have here determined, vigor, push forward, influence, intense, self -improve, uh, improvement, resolve. This is it. This is what's coming in. Okay. With the fool card, setting the intention and going on this journey, regaining his strength again. I feel so strongly, fam, that. What's happening here is that this fool card is connected to these ropes being cut and freeing himself from everything that has been holding him back all his life. This is not just that's what this Pluto retrograde is doing. Again, I say it. It has been. It's he's been working toward it, but there have been because in life when we um uh put things in the back burner and leave it aside and leave it aside and leave it aside it, it builds up you open up that closet and it's just like a bunch of like it's like the closet full of like clothes and messy stuff and just like comes falling like collapsing on top of you kind of deal that's kind of the, the the vibe i'm picking up because it's like i don't have time to deal with this right now i don't have time to deal with this right now and this resonates take the message as well because i know it, I, it resonates with me as well but it will catch up to you, okay? And with this being bound to a certain belief that just doesn't resonate with you for how long it hasn't resonated, Army, for how long these beliefs within have not resonated with you and you've just gone with whatever was best for everyone else, okay? And that's what I'm picking up from this here, okay? And, and especially with the fool going into this power and this strength and re... How do I... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> Coming back to his power. And that's why I see the six of torches. I see the six of wands, which is 
a successful part of the journey. It's like, you did it. You've reached this. This is your victory. Pat yourself on the freaking back. You know, you've got this far. It has not been easy, but you've got this far. And that is what I'm picking up. And that is what's coming in. Again, I do feel that this is not coming in anytime soon, fam, because Pluto retrograde is literally bringing everything up for army to deal with right now. And there's still, there's still, there's still, <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. There's still, <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to get some, uh, ocean of emotion cards. These guys here. Beep, beep. All right. Wow. I am getting, it's been such an emotional ride here with this reading. Um, all right. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is intense. All right. This is going hand in hand with the beliefs card riddled with guilt and shame. Who am I? What have I done? Why am, why is this even happening? Why are the people I love uh, like going through this because of me? There is this blame game that it's just like, frick, I hate what's going on. I feel it's my fault that this is all happening to the people I care about. This is what I'm picking up from this here. I'm going to get another one. This is, damn. All right, I got two. Putting this here. I got, first off, I got intuitive. Trust your inner knowing army. This is very important. And that's what he is working on doing. Okay. I also got here responsible. I need to start saving myself instead of everyone else. I'm done. That's exactly what I see in the five of cups. I need to start saving myself instead of everyone else because he always put himself in the back burner or never paid it and never really addressed himself. It's caught up to him in such a way that it's, it's suffocating. And how do I get out of this? This is such a freaking mess. I mean, this is just what I heard coming in. This is such a damn mess. And it's, how do I get out of this? without hurting my loved ones. This is such a freaking strong message that's coming in. And I, I keep seeing this vision of him at the beach and filling these cups of water. It's like, I, and water are emotions. It's like emotional force opening up. This could be connected to the pearl. This is so interesting because I see maybe the clams or whatever and finding this oysters clams whatever <laughs> let's not go into that I, i'm i'm having a moment so finding what's inside and maybe this could be something that he's putting in each of the damn each of the cups as well it's like here a bit of me this is me this is my true this is me i'm free i i, I feel i wow wow Okay. I'm having a moment. <laughs> this is a lot coming in. So, um, that's what I'm picking up with this. But yeah, energy wise, army is really scattered right now. And that's why the, the, the messages are very messy. <laughs> it's just like, he's trying to say so much, but it's jumbled. And I, I can't really, <laughs> I'm getting as much as I can out here. Um, so next I'm going to get a four agreements card. All right. So army, what can help you on your Pluto retrograde journey? All right. Hmm. All right. We have here. Don't make assumptions. <clears throat> Be aware of unconscious assumptions. Assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. Beliefs. Connected to the agreements. Okay. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. So I feel this is, again, going back to the five. There's always a card that stands out in my readings. And, and this one is the five of cups. Five of Cups and the Fool, but th for this one's standing out big time. Okay, fam, 
This five of cups, I feel that this is connected to the don't make assumptions about the people that love you. All right. Don't assume that by giving this little bit is enough for them. It, you know, you should trust in them as well. I, I'm picking that up. Trust in the people that love you, Army. And yeah, it's been a tough time and you feel guilty because of this, of this messy situation, but don't assume anything of your loved ones and just take a step back of that. Okay. That's where I feel in the five of cups. Don't assume that by giving, by filling these cups, it will be enough. And then you walk away. Like I, I'm seeing filling this cup, the cups and walking away on this new journey, which is a very positive one for you. But I, I feel that something in the five of cups needs, needs to be addressed. So again, be aware of unconscious assumptions. Okay. And it is okay. It, it, it's it, something about communication is very important in this reading. All right. Okay. So I'm going to get <laughs> some more. Uh, I'm going to get some Intuit Oracle cards, these guys, uh, and see what comes through more about the full energy that I picked up because a lot of the five of cups came through and get, excuse me, again, with all the, um, all the messages from this, oh, from over here. So let's see what's coming through. All right. All right, I got here the element of earth. That's a grounded energy, which is interesting. I feel like it's the like a dancer mixed with um, the fool, just dancing, dancing. Things are um, things are stuck. Okay, again with uh, fish resources, finances, investments, money, income. Again, which is interesting because Pluto. Um, is transiting his eighth, his eighth house, which has to do with also money and inheritance. Okay. If we would have gotten the 10 of pentacles. I would have thought like more about inheritance, but with this bodies of water, more water, there's a lot of emotions here. A lot of trying to stay of the physical, uh, realm, which is interesting. We got here the element of earth. So a lot of water and earth vibes here. Wow. In fact, I, oh yeah, there's a uh, two cards that are swords, but this is very interesting. I'm going to get one more. I can't help myself, fam. All right. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. Okay. I got one more and it's the stars. Wishes come true. Peace, miracle, dream. Falling in love, hope, inspired, providence, blessed, and nighttime. So again, I feel that the stars card is so pretty. Uh, he will be able to regain his control and fall in love with life again as he falls into the full role. Okay. I feel that I feel that there's something about ending something that you once knew because it will liberate you and it's going to be prosperous. It's going to bring him so many more resources, I feel. Okay. This is actually really positive and it's going to help army ground himself be more measured with uh, his actions and build on whatever he was stuck on before. Okay. And I feel that he needs that balance with all these water, all this water coming in. And it's interesting with the water because his birthday in August, I see uh, it now we are still going through the actually huh his 2020 yes sorry i had a moment yes 2020 year card uh tarot year card was death and now going into 2021 it will be temperance like i mentioned earlier in the video um so it's very important that he takes the time to relax and heal this is uh 2021 to 2022 it's going to be a very 
uh, it's going to be a year to heal from everything, from all the, from Pluto retrograde in itself, yo. <laughs> but all this that's come in this year, he will be healing throughout the next year after, uh, upon hitting his birthday until 2022. I feel it's going to just go up from there, fam. I really feel that um, the worst is over. I'm picking up, but there are still things that are lingering that need to be brought to light. And during this Pluto retrograde is really honestly within army. Okay. This all has to do with what's going on inside of him. This, all of it. All right. And this is his world and this is his higher self thinking of all this and all the images that I'm coming, uh, that's coming into my mind are, uh, I'm picking up strongly that has to do with how he's trying to cope and deal with the situation with what he's going through. All right. I'm going to get some chakra, uh, essential oil <laughs> cards. I keep calling them chakra cards cause they have chakra associations. So let's see what, what comes through for army to help him through this Pluto retrograde. All right, trust, winter green, trigger statement. What if something happens? True statement, I take my hands off the wheel. That control that he's holding onto so tightly. You are not alone. The universe is working with you. Relax and enjoy the adventure. Mm. This is solar plexus, by the way, and very interesting because I mentioned the fool and adventure. This is all connecting. This is going to be what's going to set army free. This right here, fam. And this could be coming in in September. I feel that because with, um, I, I feel strongly September because October, the beginning of October is when Pluto retrograde, um, when Pluto stations direct Pluto stations direct, like I would like to say October 13th, 14th, sometime there, 15th. I don't remember. Sometime there. <laughs> I'm going to pull out one more. Okay. Oof. We got two heart chakra ones. Okay. We have here elevate. Trigger statement, I feel so low. True statement, I persevere. Persevere. Joyful. Release the worry and fear and allow confidence, trust, and strength to take you to your goal. Bingo. With that strength card and everything coming in. This is wonderful, fam. This is him um, uh, bringing back into balance his heart chakra because I still feel that there's a lot of healing that his heart chakra is needing. And this here is his confidence, which is the solar plexus chakra bringing in this energy of, I can do this, ha bringing back his confidence in his work and everything. There's just something that was stolen from him. <gasps> Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> Something that was stolen from him with. Oh, wow. Okay. The seven of swords from earlier on in the reading that makes so much more sense. Wow. And then last but not least, we have here grace trigger statement. What do they have that I don't true statement? We are all special. Pink pepper is the essential oil. Allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find the perfection in yourself and those around you. Very important. Let go of any expectations, army. It's good to have a goal and to reach it and keep going and whatnot to, uh, to have that drive. But it's important to keep a balance within emotionally and that relax message that is in one of these. I'm not sure which one, but... Yeah, that is coming in strongly with the temperance energy coming in uh, for your birthday. I'm picking that up. All right. Now, last but not least, because I haven't done I haven't done this in a bit. I got the the soul truth deck that I love so much. Let's see if it doesn't make me cry because I already cried earlier on this reading. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. 
Woof. All right. I got one. Am I letting fear stop me? Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable, but it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today, be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. That's beautiful. And I see that because you know what, fam? You know who the fool is? The fool's journey? The hero's journey? We are our own hero. We become this role. We are our main. We are the main character of our story. And this is true for ARMY as well. So that is why by letting go of fear, by untying himself or cutting, uh, cutting the ropes open, which is another card that came through a lot before in his in readings for army, the eight of swords, which is all about the, the traps of the mind feeling that I am bound. I can't see, I feel helpless, but in fact, you are not really tied up. The, the, the rope is loose or in the, you could just pull off the blindfold and the swords are not protruding you or anything you are safe and that is what the eight of swords depicts that we are trapped that is a trap of the mind itself we are not truly trapped unless we choose to be all right so in this all right fam we army is letting fear go and this will enter the phase of the next chapter in his hero's journey the fool and i remember it strongly from my other reading as well that the fool energy is coming in so strongly so yeah fam <laughs> all right wow i i am terrified to see how long this reading is <laughs> all right fam if you stuck around to the end of this reading please do leave me a sun emoji with a heart of whatever color you like <laughs> share that love let's just spread love right now because we have enough discord and hate and chaos in the world let's just be understanding of one another and embrace that right you too are me sending so much love your way and healing vibes you've got this you're going to enter that new chapter of your life and it's all going to make more sense to you and you're going to feel so much lighter than ever before. I feel that. I feel that, man. All right. Sending you so much love and feel good vibes your way, fam. Thank you so much for sticking around. Like that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like the video and the reading. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Oh, my gosh. That would be so fantastic. I mean, fam. YouTube is like you know, putting ads despite my, you know, my channel not being monetized and the other tiny creators as well are going through this. So please do share my videos, subscribe if you haven't, tell others about it if they enjoy this kind of content. It will mean the world to me. I want to eventually monetize this channel. <laughs> I mean, I, that'd be fantastic fam. <laughs> so like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Sending feel good vibes your way, fam, before I continue babbling. Take care. Love you. Bye. <laughs>